Matthew Moore's MM Wood Studios. Hey, it's Sunday, December 18th, which means it's time for another weekly shop update. What's been going on in the shop this week? Well, a whole heck of a lot, and I'm pretty stoked about that because it's been a little bit since I've been in here doing a ton of woodworking, and it just feels great. So, as I said in the last um, shop update, I was gonna start this screwdriver project, and um, I've gotten pretty deep in it. I've filmed up to the point where um, I've actually made the blanks that are gonna become the handles. And um, today I worked on my prototype of the uh, screwdriver set to make sure that what I thought I was gonna do was actually gonna happen. So um, I did not film that. That will have to wait for next week when I build or make the other screwdrivers. But for now, let me walk you through getting this handle. These blanks are all made out of Coco Bolo. And what I did was I took some Coco Bolo sock, I first flattened one face and then jointed one edge. And then over at the bandsaw, I cut these down and I got rough sizes for my blanks. And I did this so that the table saw would have less work to do. Now, I milled up two sets of blanks. There is a thicker or wider um, handle than the next and that's because even though I spent a lot of time and care with choosing the shanks that I wanted to um, get especially since the Lee Valley ones are no longer available I had to go somewhere else and find a great source and I took a lot of care in the sense that um, I really wanted to make sure the actual thickness of the shanks themselves no matter which one it is um, up until a certain point is actually exactly the same and the wings that um, help uh, when you're torquing the screwdriver to keep it um, set into the actual um, handle itself and keep it from moving are the exact same thickness on any of these um, five different shakes that I'm using to make these screwdrivers. So once I got those blanks, uh, the um, square blanks made, by cutting out the other two sides of the table saw, I was able to get a four square blank. So from there, the next thing to do is to make this into an octagon shape. Now the reason I selected an octagon shape is um, I love this screwdriver. This is what I'm um, modeling my handle off of. However, I hate that when you put it on a table, it just rolls, that it rolls and falls off the um, table, bench, whatever it may be. So we're woodworkers, we have lots of tools in our shops and I thought, well I've got a, a router and I could chamfer this and that's what I wanted to do and that's what I did was I went over to the router table and with a 45 degree chamfer bit, I slowly removed material until I got really, really close to getting a perfect octagon from my blanks. And this way, when you take the screwdriver itself, it stops. It's just gonna move back and forth a little bit and it'll rest. It's not going to hopefully fall off the table or the bench. And then I went over to the bench and with a plane, which I just built in the last project, which felt really good. I was able to use all those planes. The next step I did, which I do believe I filmed, which was to put cross hairs on both sides of this. And that was actually before I made these into octagons. I, um, so I wanted to find center for these because I got a punch out center and then um, make punches farther out for drilling to drill three different spots on one side and um, a punch for the other for the lathe. So that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, I think this guy looks fantastic. I'm really loving it, it feels great. It has all the qualities I love in this Stanley. Um, it's a 702 um, screwdriver, but with the octagon and it, and that just is gonna prevent it from rolling all over the place, and I'm really stoked about that. 
Um, I think I did a little bit of an upgrade too, going from a, a metal or um, a furl to a nice, beautiful brass one. So these are coming out really great. I can't wait to finish them. Um, obviously finishing, um, I'm gonna do some oil on here and some wax probably, and um, it's just gonna feel great in my hands. I, I couldn't help it. I started screwing and unscrewing things all over the shop for about 10 minutes after I got this um, shank seated into my screwdriver. I did get something in the mail this week, which I was pretty stoked about, which is um, I ordered a tapered dovetail saw from Lee Nelson. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already, but um, I got this guy in. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Lee Nelson makes amazing tools. So does Lee Valley Veritas. Um, and uh, she looks great. I can't wait to use her on the tool cabinet project as well as um, the Nakashima inspired cabinet project. My question of the week to you guys is this. Um, would you want to make your own tools for your own shop as well? Like these screwdrivers or hand planes? And if you did, what would you want to make for yourself? I'd really love to know. Leave that in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share your timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio page and like us there as well. And as always, have a great week in the shop.